Hello, welcome to Moneyball Billiards. We've got an APA nine ball match here for you today. Skill level four versus skill level four. Josh versus, versus Alicia. Race to 31 points. APA nine ball is a little different than regular nine ball. Um, each ball is worth one point. The nine ball is worth two points. There's no push out after the break. And your opponent racks for you. So it looks like Alicia won the lag. She's got the first break. Both of these players are really solid fours in my opinion. All right. Makes a ball. Can see the one. A tough little bank. I think if she would have hit that a little harder, it would have strained it out. It's one thing I really like about these diamond tables is you can really manipulate the object ball off the rail, both spin and speed. All right, Josh misses. Got to get warmed up, get the juices flowing. For me, once I uh, takes me a little bit to get acclimated to the table and the match. But once balls start going in the holes, then start to really settle in and start making good shots. All right. Tough bang shot. Nice and smooth. Oh man, oh, I thought that was going to get behind the seven ball. A tough spot. I think she's cutting it. I might try to come off the right side of the two ball there and try to get the cue ball down below the 9-4. Try to play safe there. Definitely might have worked. Definitely could have been a horrible idea. Just a thought. Both players are having a hard time getting things going here because they're kind of left with not such an um, easy opening shot. Like I feel like once these one of these players gets a pretty easy shot, then they'll they'll be able to start running some balls. But neither one of them had have had anything really easy to shoot at so far. That was a good shot. And once again, left the opponent with nothing. I mean, there's never, it's never nothing, but nothing easy. There's always a shot. Looks like she can see it. I did not expect that. Wow, 
here. Hello. All right, here's the opportunity that Josh has been looking for, trying to get some sort of something going, get an easy shot. This, it looks like he's placing the cue ball super close to the two. And that's pretty, oh, he got right in there. That's pretty scary. Yeah, he did well though, didn't foul. Now he just needs to try to get shape on this four. Looks like he's gonna try to draw out of it. Oh, nice and easy. No need to make shape when you have shape already. If you are an APA player, oh, got some, gets a jelly roll. If you are an APA player and you do get ball in hand and you're in a situation like that, that Josh was in, and you're placing the cue ball, be very careful not to touch the cue ball, um, uh, touch any object ball with the cue ball when you're placing it in the center of a bunch of balls like that because that is a foul. You gotta be super careful. I think I'm just using a touch of left hand spin here to try to get above the seven to shoot the seven in that bottom right. That would have worked out though if uh, the six dropped. Okay, yeah, I remember this. So they're talking about a foul, and I don't know if you caught it, but Alicia accidentally moved the seven ball with her cue. And then normally that's not a problem but the cue ball came back and hit the seven before it was moved back to its original position. So that is a foul. Normally if you nudge a ball, uh, your opponent just puts it back to where it was, but since the cue ball came back and hit the ball you moved, that is a foul. Unfortunate, but it happens. Let's see if Josh can run these out. Kind of play tic tac toe right here. Stop. Yep, there you go. Seven. Looks like he's got a, enough angle to roll forward off the rail. I don't think he's straight in. Yeah, I think I would have just hit that a little bit harder and tried to get um, a little bit uh, straighter on the eight, but yeah. Those are tough to judge the speed. Came out pretty good though. This is a tough shot into the side pocket, but I think Alicia's up for the challenge. Wow, amazing bank shot. Tied ball game, 5-5. Five, five. If you're enjoying this, the stream, the video, I uh, encourage you to like and subscribe. Helps the channel out. And if you've already done so, thank you.
thinking about in future videos, maybe including the player's stats. Um, I like their APA stats, their average defensive lifetime, their break and runs, nines on the snaps. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. I was also thinking about asking the players what kind of cue they use and also maybe their tip selection and break cue selection. Just get a little extra info. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, she was trying to play safe there. I love that. Love the idea. She just needed that to get past the 6 9, come off the rail and back up into the stack. Same thing here. You can play safe here. You don't need to go for this. Yeah, almost best not to go, to go for it because look at the shape you're left with. You can watch a lot of high level players like skill level nines they're they're mostly always playing safe there all right josh gets a little lucky there slops in a ball into the side pocket which is a hard to nine ball keep in mind it isn't a, a call pocket game in any format um APA 8 ball is a little different though. Uh, slop does count. But you know, it's it happens, but it's not that often that it happens. I don't really feel like it's the biggest game changer or the the biggest thing that I change that I think changes the game in APA 8 ball is the fact that you are what you make after the break. That that really, um, really makes it tough. All right, Josh has got ball in hand. Yeah, there you go. Side pocket, stop shot. Three, draw back just a touch for the six. Seven's over the pocket. This is a. Uh, Pretty nice looking layout. Well, he needed to get back a little further than that because now he's going, the cue ball's going away from the seven ball. Thin cut. I think right here I'm going a little bit of speed to try to go off that uh, left short rail and back up for the eight. I'm not going to try to hold this. Yeah, because that's why. Yeah, if you hit that a little harder and just come off that rail and back out for the eight, you're, you know. We've got a better chance of coming up with a shot. Oh man, but that was a that was a really great effort. All right, that was nice. That with speed, with a little topspin, I believe, and that uh, that will slow down the cue ball off the rail. All right, Josh cleans that up. Josh twelve, Alicia eight. Uh oh, Alicia dropped chalk in the pocket. That sucks. It's 
especially with chalk nowadays. They're like $30 a cube for some Taum or Kamui or Predator chalk, Pagulion chalk. It's all good stuff, but it's expensive and you don't want to lose it. Let me know in the comments what the uh, chalk you guys prefer. Would love to hear suggestions. We got Nick the mechanic here coming in. I've seen him retrieve many chalks from the tables, so he definitely knows what he's doing. I don't know if I'd give him my cue though to do that with. I would give him a house cue. And he got it. And it looks like she had some some Taum or some Kamui in there. Definitely expensive chalk. Nick saves the day. Let's see where Josh breaks from. Well, first he needs a cue ball. It's definitely step one to breaking. Step two, find a spot to break from. It's an interesting spot. I am always up for suggestions on where to break from in nine ball on a seven footer. Looks like Josh came up dry there. Kinda looking like the one might go in the bottom right corner. It also looks like she might be able to get Pretty good shape on the two. Ooh, that was nice. A little bonus. A little jelly roll. Ooh. A tough spot right here for Josh. I'm not sure if he can do the rail first. Oh, it looks like he might be able to go in between the eight and four. Wow. Yeah, there's that uh, diamond pocket action for you. They love to rattle. cloth here is very worn so the balls do not sl just slide in. I think it's almost about time they refelt these actually. I was there yesterday and there's quite a few little divots and little rips in the fabric and the cloth. I'm hoping they refelt the place soon. I'm not really sure what kind of uh, felt they used last time, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was the best. It was definitely decent, but I'm wondering if they invest in more high quality felt, if it's going to last longer. I don't know if anyone has any suggestions, because I feel like this stuff didn't really last that long. I feel like it was just like a month or two before I started seeing little rips and stuff in the felt. I'm 
Nice little run there. Miss the scratch here. Yeah, she missed the ball right there because uh, she was afraid of scratching. At least that's my opinion. I, I did something very similar yesterday. Uh, dresses it up nicely there for Alicia. She's going to go forward. Nice speed. Kind of tough to get um, position on the eight here. For us mere mortals. She might try to cut this. And that's the danger of that shot. I'm starting to realize is if you miss it, most of the time you're leaving your opponent with a uh, pretty easy shot. I need to come up with alternate ways to play that shot. Oh, well, that was really nice. Good control right there. I think he wanted to maybe come off the rail a little bit more like come off the rail and out to get a little easier shot on the nine. Oh, went for the bank pretty good effort uh, left alicia cut shot this shot right here i'm always Got that scratch in the side pocket right by her arm, lingering in my mind. And she misses the, the scratch. Nice shot. Good shot, Alicia. All right. The score tightens up a little bit. Josh, 16. Alicia, 14. Um, if you go into... I think it's like near the channel description. There's a link for Stream Elements merch store that I set up. I don't have any of the merch, um, so I can't really vouch for the quality of it. Um, but it is there, and if you want to support the channel, I get a portion of that. And if you are local, I do have some mint green shirts available. Oh, that, was a, the, that was a house rack. The one ball was not uh, tight. That's why the balls didn't spread out there. Got to be very vigilant when you're racking the balls at this pool hall because it's pretty tough to rack them tight. Sometimes when I'm playing a new player, I will check the rack to make sure it's tight. It's not meant to be disrespectful or anything, it's just uh, makes the game a lot more fun and um, the way it should be played, really, if uh, the rack is tight. Makes it fun for both players, because then you don't have a bunch of 
weird clusters like this. Wow, that's going to be tough to get out of. Alicia's laughing. Good luck with that, buddy. Holy cow, what a good shot. And he gets a ball to hit the rail. Good hit. Wow, that was really nice. Okay. Now she's left with a similar shot that Josh just had. Only that six ball is in the way. I don't know if she can hit this. I don't know if she needs to hit it. Yeah. That might be what I would have done, but I think I might have even added that four ball into the cluster. Try to scoot the four in between the seven and five. Instead of leaving a three ball combo, you're leaving a four ball combo, which makes it a little tougher. But I definitely think that was the right idea, not trying to hit the three. It looks like we got a timeout from. Oh no, not a timeout, a watch. Not really sure why, but. Wow! Oh man! I didn't see that coming. Makes a ball and the nine ball for three points. Wow. All right, Josh 19, Alicia 16, still a very close match. Alicia making sure everything's tight. Doesn't want the same thing to happen as the last rack. Much better spread there. You can see the one ball. Not easy, but it's doable. Pretty much just uh, got to focus on making the ball here. You're going to get natural shape on the, uh, the two, as long as you don't blast it, which I think he did. Great shot. Slow down. Wow. Yep. If I had a nickel for every time I did that, I'd have enough to buy something. Wow. Definitely done that too done it recently. Ball in hand miss, never fun. I met someone once that uh, said if there anyone on their team, including him, missed with ball in hand, uh, excluding safety shots and stuff like that, if you miss with ball in hand, you have to buy the team a drink. And I like that. I think it's pretty funny. Not sure if the three passes the five, but you could play safe here. Oh, he went for it. Wow. Comes up 
Smelling like a rose there. I think maybe I'm going off that bottom or the, the right short rail and trying to kick that three ball into the side pocket. Here's Sean Roy, and if you want anyone giving you a timeout, this is definitely one of the guys. Would not be surprised if she made this. He is very good. Yep. Not surprising, but great execution, Alicia. Oh, almost an amazing follow-up shot, too. Good shot. Can probably just try to trickle this in, leave the cue ball right near this where the six is now. Nope. Not that a little hard, I think. I think I would have tried to slow roll that or do a stop shot. For me, whenever I uh, add a ton of speed like that, my accuracy diminishes. Good shot on the six. Well, this is tough. One of the toughest spots for a ball to be on the table. Wow, what a good cut shot. Just unlucky there on the scratch. Amazing cut shot past the side pocket. I can't tell you how good that is. Josh is left with a ball in hand, nine ball shot. Bam. 24 for Josh, 19 for Alicia. Still a close game. Still anyone's game. Josh has got the slight advantage here. Alicia just needs one, one chance at the table with a nice little layout, or even a, a chance to play a good safe can get you some more balls. It's something on the table. Not quite sure what. There's some sort of delay going on here. I'm thinking maybe there's a the scores for each the scores that each team have are different. And they might be trying to correct that before they move forward and start making more balls. It'd confuse the situation even more. I'm almost positive that's what's happening. Right, a scoring nine ball used to be much tougher before the uh, APA Scorekeeper app we used to do it on paper. And that was a nightmare. 
the APA Scorp Keeper app is pretty sweet, actually. Makes it more enjoyable to score nine ball. Looks like they may have resolved it. And Josh switched sides. He was breaking from the other side. Holy cow. He made three balls. What a good break. And he's got shape on the two. Wow. Man, that was really nice too. Good touch getting on that three ball. And misses it. Yep, I feel your frustration, dude. Make such a good shot to get such good position and then miss it. All right, tic-tac-toe here, three, six, seven top left, eight bottom right, and depending on where you get on the eight is dependent on where you put the nine ball, but it looks like just kind of a tic-tac-toe here. Looks like she rolled a little far there. She kind of wanted to be straight in there. Good effort. All right. Josh needs three. Alicia needs ten. Good shot. Kind of uh, left himself pretty tough here. Definitely makeable. Yeah. All right, there he's measuring up the uh, combo bank. Eight ball goes in. And wow, the nine ball goes exactly where he planned on making it. What a good shot that was. And a good match. Game over. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.